And hello everyone, it is Tino back for some more breaking of the Final Fantasy 2. Or 4, depending on your perspective. So we are going to jump right back in here. I'm not going to do the... You can do a, a Final Fantasy 4 Japanese to English uh, thingy. Um, but I'm not a big fan of that, so we're not going to do that. I think I might have actually set this as a save state. Let's see. Yes, I did. Okay, so yeah. Um, basically what we're going to be doing is continuing onward in the story. Uh, before I go any further, because I'm still, like I said, I'm, I'm still sort of learning how to speedrun this game. So basically this, this first playthrough is me like familiarizing myself with all the glitches and how everything works. And yada yada yada. So before we go any further, I'm just going to play it safe and equip some of the stuff that I need to. Rydia's going to need a dancing dagger, and I'm going to put the tiara on her as well. And I think I'm also going to give her the ruby ring. And the reason I'm doing that is because she is extremely weak. She's only level 1. She's going to be really weak until uh, a certain something happens in the story. I don't know if you guys care about spoilers or not, but I'll avoid them. <clears throat> So there's going to be a point in the story where something happens and the level is not going to be an issue. <clears throat> so, yeah, we are about to meet up with Tella, going through the watery pass, if I can thread the needle here. Yes, Tella, you are the man, and I like you. I enjoy his purple robe. This area, the, uh, the watery pass, is a good place to practice the pixel hole glitch? I, I think that's what it's called. Um, what you can do is when in, whenever there's any kind of action or something that you can interact with, what you can do is uh, shift to another character as it happens and the uh, pixel set will be uh, almost like uh, a negative image. It'll be like an opposite color swatch, which is cool because Rydia suddenly has like red hair and all the green in her outfit turns red, which is kind of funny. And I will try to pull it off. There's a couple of instances that I can do it once I get to... <clears throat> I don't know if it's the next screen or the screen after, but... I do have to open up a, a chest in here. I'm going to pick up the Darkness Sword. Um, Octomam, the boss of this area, for whatever reason is weak to the Darkness Sword, so there's... There's like no reason not to get it. It'll make the fight go faster. Uh, just an interesting thing about this area, uh, if you guys watched the previous video, you saw me do the mist skip, which is based off of the uh, sliding glitch. You can slide to the left and then slide to the right, and you can kind of skip the mist sequence, and then you have to go back, otherwise you can't progress in the game. But it actually is optimized better to do it that way, which is kind of interesting. Uh, not to mention the uh, the glitches are really fun to pull off. And the first time you do it, so rewarding. It's just like, ah, I never knew. Never knew you could do that. <clears throat> oh man, I had... There was more to that story, but uh, it escapes me now. I did want to mention one of the cool things about um, the effects of skipping the Village of Mist. It's interesting what what sort of weird flags are set up. When you skip the Village of Mist, you can have Rydia and Kane in the party, and that's a, a party configuration you're not supposed to have. So, it, you can experiment a little bit and try and get as far as possible, um, but what happens is when you get into... Oh, no, I always am tempted to go left there, and I need to just go north. I don't know why I do that. But if you... Instead of going back to the Village of Mist and, and activating the sequence where the package opens and the flame guys come out and burn the whole town down, if you don't do that and you try to go from Kaipo to the Watery Pass without activating the, uh, the flag from completing the Village of Mist, Tella will not be in the Watery Pass at all. He's not even there. And another interesting thing is... There's a... Uh, okay, so I'm going to try the pixel glitch here. I want to see what it does with uh, with Tella. But yeah, Tella wouldn't be in the watery pass. Uh, so when you got to Damsian, uh the Ana sequence would essentially soft lock the game. Alright, here we go. Yeah! So that's the pixel glitch. As you can see, 
tell those colors are like sort of reversed, which is kind of cool. <clears throat> and I'm going to try and do it again for Rydia. Alright. Oh, uh, too fast. I did it too quickly. You can do it with the text boxes that pop up as well. Whoops! And then I went right back inside. Foolish me. Foolish, foolish me. So I am going to do a quick little safety save here. Uh, it's not necessary, but I I want to just you know play this as safe as I possibly can. I want to be able to complete the run and like do all the glitches and stuff and not have to worry about a poor setup because I went too quickly and didn't know what I was doing. So yeah, um, the game would soft lock when you got to Damsian if you didn't finish the Village of Mist. Tella wouldn't be in here. It, it makes all kind of weird things happen, but you, the game essentially will forbid you from completing it without actually doing that stuff. You can get, you know, a certain ways past, but you can't get the hovercraft and blah 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 Things spiral out of control. I am encountering a lot of zombies in this play. <clears throat> I think I mentioned this in the previous game, but or in the previous video, but for whatever reason, Final Fantasy IV is just brutal totally brutal when it comes to the uh, random battles. Also, uh, I also apologize ahead of time. The uh, wall squirrels are becoming more active and you'll probably be hearing some ridiculous stuff in the background. That's that's my squirrel neighbors. My squirrel roommates. Would you stop attacking Tella, you jerk? Miss is good. I like when you miss Rydia, though. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to have Kane attack, and hope to God that uh, Rydia doesn't die. And she's going to use her dancing dagger. And I'm going to try to get a, uh, a heal off with Tella, and I hope that Rydia doesn't die. I really hope she doesn't die. <clears throat> if she does, it's terrible news. She might, though. <laughs> she might be dead, like, right now. Nope, I'm getting lucky. A little bit of luck going on, so that's pretty cool. The equipment that I put on her is basically allowing her to survive one or maybe two attacks from Octomam, but it's definitely some risky business. Um, yeah, right there she only took six damage, which was totally fine. Super duper. Yep, that's fantastic. Keep going. So this boss fight is very straightforward. Having the dancing dagger is awesome. It essentially breaks the game for the majority of the early sequences and uh, when we meet up with uh, Edward you'll also see that he is not as worthless as you originally thought he's not I know it's maddening it's crazy it's hard to believe but it's true and you wanna know why? because Edward can throw dancing daggers that's right throw them with robust strength he actually does significantly more damage doing it than Ridu does. Partly because he's, uh, I think he just has higher stats, but he may or may not also be at a higher level, I don't remember. I don't remember if he starts at level 1 or something, or like 10 or whatever. He definitely is lower level than your party, but I can't be sure. Don't die. So that was close. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to start pairing with Tella because he does not need to waste time. Come on. Parry again. No! Okay, two, two damage is fine. Kill it! Kill it with fire! Yes! Really? Didn't die from that? Wow. How about that? Uh, still no? I swear to God, if you kill Rydia right now, <laughs> I'm going to be so mad at you, Octoman. <clears throat> Die. Die now. Yes. Awesome. So that, that could have been a little bit faster. Um, I apologize for what sounds like things being knocked over and strange tiny animal squeals, but that's, that. like I said, my squirrel roommates are outrageously annoying and impossible to get rid of. Uh, yeah, but now we've beaten the watery passage, so we're gonna sneak into Damsian. Oh, yeah! 
That's what those bombs sound like. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh, what's happening? Now we're gonna go straight down here. There we go. Yes. Anna, no. And who's this spoony bard? You did this to her. Miss, you swindler. The bard's like, ah, oh, come on, man. Not just the bard. Oh, tell actually hit. Okay. So one attack out of out of two so far. I believe there's four attacks total. Come on, tell her you got this, bro. Yeah. Two out of three, not too shabby. 66%, and we get 75. Going for 75. Give me a C. Hey, C plus. Just because I like you, Tella. Just because I like you. No, you've hurt him. Oh my gosh. Can you believe it? Come on. Anna, no! No, Anna! We loved you. We loved you so much. Oh. Bop in the noodle from Bop in the noodle. Popping the noodle. Not not what I wanted to say, but that's what happened. So I apologize to everyone who had to hear that. You heard it. You can't unhear it. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Come on. Yeah, we need your help, Edward. Stop slagging off. Stab it. Stop slagging. Stab it right now. Focus. Yes, Prince Edward joined as a bard. That's kind of what that sounded like, right? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Goodbye, Anna. I don't know why you disappeared like that. And nobody else's body is disappearing, but I'm proud of you. Alright. Hovercraft. So, off we go. Gonna park it right near the antlion's den. And uh, do a little safety save. And I think that's where we're gonna call this episode. So thank you all so much for watching. It's a lot of fun. Hope you guys are enjoying. Actually, you know what? Before we go any further... Let's go ahead and make sure he's got that equipped, and then do another safety save. So he's actually level 5, which is hilarious, but that that does give him more life than Rydia. It does. It does indeed. I should probably use a tent also, because Rydia has like no health at all. And I'll forget the next time I play this game, and she'll die, and I'll feel like a jerk. Alright, let's do uh, one of these guys. Save the state. Perfect. Alright, thanks guys for watching. I will catch you in the next episode.